Kitan guys, welcome back to yet another video. Um, I welcome you all with my love and respects and the blessings of my Guru, His Divine Holiness Bhagwan Shri Nityananda Paramashivam. Today's video, I want to share a kind of a click which is happening in me for the last few days. Uh, you guys might be aware that we're doing this live Varkata Sadas after the daily discourse, the satsang every day on the Blissful Athletes channel, and I might start to upload them on my channel as well. Um, and so a lot of kind of understanding is happening and I wanted to share some an experience that I'm having by doing that. And that is the importance of listening to the spiritual truths, especially the spiritual truth that Paramashiva reveals regarding how the universe functions, how consciousness is and how it expresses itself. Um, knowledge which we would consider very complex or uh, deep or subtle, which is not easy to grasp. But um, what I'm realizing is that the more you engage with it, the more you contemplate, you meditate, you, um, you do Varkata Saras, which is basically sharing understandings to raise each other to the highest space. Um, the more you start to realize many things. One thing that I've been realizing by starting this now, I think it's been five or six days. And um, when you start to realize the immensity of the universe and consciousness, it kind of, you kind of understand that I need some help. Like I can't, I don't think I'll be able to grasp the whole thing. At some point I personally came to conclusions like, oh my God, this is so huge. There's no way I'm going to grasp it in an amount of time, which is reasonable. Um, so, and if you want that understanding, which I do, then um, it's all about entering into the space of surrender to allow Paramashiva to come and to give you the experience from within. Instead of, initially I was more going towards like, you get understanding and with that understanding you go towards surrendering and you experience Paramashiva. But actually that path seems like almost impossible now because it's too big. The more I'm contemplating on these 25 states of consciousness, 25 heads of Paramashiva. Uh, so I'm just talking about the faces and the phases of Paramashiva and how they work together simultaneously in the space of Kala, the multiverse, when Swamji is now is introducing about the multiverse, the dimensions, it's, there's so much content, it's so vast. And it shows also how rich the Hindu tradition is in terms of knowledge about the universe and existence itself. And the more you see that, you're just like, oh my God, like I, I, <laughs> I need some help. So then, then you realize that I'm realizing that the best strategy is actually to surrender, to trust. You might not understand what, what is happening now, but you follow the instruction of the Guru. Uh, that's another video I'll make, but it's going to be very powerful how Shiva is Guru. And when you align to Guru and you follow the instructions of Guru, you might not fully understand the bigger picture, but by surrendering, you allow Paramashiva to work. You enter into oneness with him. You might not understand what is happening, but that's fine, as long as you cooperate. What I'm realizing is that surrendering is nothing but cooperating with Paramashiva, entering in oneness with Paramashiva. When we don't surrender, we don't flow perfectly with him. And because we don't flow, we don't allow things to happen the way they should be happening. Of course, everything keeps going and, you know, Paramashiva makes it happen. But um, there are ways of making thing hap things happen which are a lot less um, troublesome, we can say, from a human perspective. Um, and so, and so, yeah, so that is why surrendering and cooperating with Paramashiva, entering, allowing the oneness to manifest, um, we allow things to happen even if we don't fully understand them. And by the time they happen properly, then you see the whole thing. It's like you see, like you see the pieces of the puzzles aligning after the whole thing is done. It's like you don't know how your life will unfold, but once you live life and you look back, you can see how all the pieces of the puzzles are fitting. In the same way, surrendering is nothing but going in the kind of throwing yourself in the future or existing in the future and then you look back and you understand. So the only way to understand is actually to surrender and to allow Paramashiva to do the work. And as the work is happening, you just see it happening and you just see the whole thing unfolding and you realize, oh my God, you see all the pieces of the puzzles um, coming together. 
So that's a powerful cognition I've been um, contemplating on and kind of um, turning into cognition in the last few days. So really um, surrendering to the master, to the guru, surrendering to Swamiji, aligning to what Swamiji is telling us is of utmost important if we want to have a smooth and quick journey. Um, yeah, so that's a big thing I wanted to share with you guys. So uh, that will be it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next uh, video tomorrow. Nityanandam. I welcome you all with my love and response. Let you all open all your three eyes. Om Nityananda. <laughs>